Anthony Bourdain tastes Vietnamese street food in an episode of Parts Unknown, the celebrity chef has died at the age of 61. In a beloved episode of CNN's Parts Unknown, Anthony Bourdain sits down on a busy city street in Vietnam to sample com hen, a dish made with clams and rice. He calls the country his first love and one of his favorite places on earth, all of the things I need for happiness, the host said during the segment, gesturing to the items surrounding him. Little plastic stool, check. Tiny little plastic table, check. Something delicious in a bowl, check, the celebrity chef was known for visiting Asian countries and helping spotlight Asian cuisine in the US. In an honorable way that didn't exoticize or whitewash their dishes. After hearing about Bourdain's death at age 61 in an apparent suicide on Friday, Asians and Pacific Islanders took to social media to remember a man who had long held a deep respect for their culture. Bourdain never treated our food like he discovered it, tweeted Jenny Yang, a Los Angeles-based comedian, he kicked it with grandma because he knew that he was the one that needed to catch up to our brilliance. Bourdain never treated our food like he discovered it. He kicked it with grandma because he knew that he was the one that needed to catch up to our brilliance. I wish so much for his legacy to take hold in Western, mostly white, food media culture. What a loss. I'm so sad, Jenny Young man medium light skin tone man medium light skin tone man medium light skin tone at Jenny Yang TV June 8, 2018 During Bourdain's nearly two-decade career as a television host for the Travel Channel and CNN, the chef visited cities across Asia and the Pacific Islands to learn more about the local food scene. Instead of trivializing or tokenizing their cuisine and culture, Bourdain was the kind of traveler who would sit down with native chefs, learn to savor unfamiliar foods, and then share his appreciation for these dishes with the wider world, in particular, Asian and Pacific Islander Twitter users credited the chef with helping Western audiences appreciate Asian street food. Anthony Bourdain did so much for food deemed weird and made the unknown exciting. For Asian countries, and even more for SE Asians, he had a seen and heard, he spoke with kindness and empathy, but with a sharp tongue. Rip to one of the greats, Diane Paik, a 2Q2 tweet June 8, 2018 Also Anthony Bourdain were really the first to appreciate Asian street food and put it on the map. While others saw it as unrefined and even, gross, he celebrated it and made it cool. A true pioneer will be forever grateful to him for this, Dorothy Wong, at Dorothy Wang, June 8, 2018 Filipino Twitter buzzed on Friday with reflections about how Bourdain helped introduce their cuisine to Western audiences. Chef Claude Tag told CNN Philippines that his restaurant Bail Duding, which translates to House of Wood, in Angela City became well known after Bourdain paid a visit during an episode of the Travel Channel show, No Reservations, in 2008. Tab credits the television host with introducing his viewers to Sisig, a traditional dish made with chopped pork. Let's remember him for what he's done, for introducing Sisig to the world. Tag told the station. Another Filipino chef, Joel Benamira, paid tribute to Bourdain in an Instagram post for shining the global spotlight on Filipino food. A post shared by Marketman at Daryl Marketman on June 8, 2018 at 4.40 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time saw MGA Filipino na Hindi Kalala is Anthony Bourdain, here is what he once said about us. Thank you at Bourdain for loving the Philippines as much as we do. This episode of Parts Unknown brought tears to my eyes. You will be missed. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash John Kiki at John Kui June 8, 2018 He believed in the Filipino talent. He loved our food. Thank you at Bourdain. You will be missed.
Sikh scholar Simran Jeet Singh tweeted about how important that episode was for him. Anthony Bourdain connected and humanized people through food. His episode on Punjab was one of the first times I saw people who looked like me on television not depicted as violent aggressors or as helpless victims. Thank you, Anthony, and rest in peace. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash qtqct 4 vo Simran Jeet Singh at Sikhprof June 8, 2018 Read on to see how other Asians and Pacific Islanders on Twitter are responding to Bourdain's death. Very heartbroken right now. Whenever I get homesick for Vietnam, I put on one of Bourdain's many Vietnam maps in his shows. That kind of trust in the way a white man portrays my culture is not easy to cultivate, and I doubt if there'll be another like him, Buangla, at Small Nartless, June 8, 2018 In addition to his vast contributions to the politics of food, Anthony Bourdain was one of the first not to shun Asian, Indian cuisine as lesser. He was a force of inclusivity in culture, and will truly be missed. Rip Tony. Hope there are salamanders in heaven, Kavitha A. Davidson, at Kavitha Davidson, June 8, 2018 Many in Hawaii will mourn Anthony Bourdain's death. He covered Hawaii's food scene for CNN, most in the state agreed that he was among the best who most accurately and respectfully reported the food culture. He called on the right people, including my two friends here. RipPick.Twitter.com slash XNECDO, Gene Park, at Jenna Park, June 8, 2018 The respect that Anthony at Bourdain had for the food of every culture was unparalleled on television, it was never, exotic, or otherizing. He took the time to understand the people the history behind the food, all while being a loud advocate for many who have been in the shadows, at Alton Wang, June 8, 2018 Thank you Anthony Bourdain for understanding what I think are the most misunderstood and forgotten Asians. You can also text HOME to 741 to 741 for free, 24-hour support from the Crisis Text Line. Outside of the U.S., please visit the International Association for Suicide Prevention for a database of resources. Download Photo Gallery 5 Foods Anthony Bourdain always keeps in his kitchen.